Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Captain Chad Gabs, this is TFE TV. I appreciate you tuning in. Today we have Hades. He's a giant schnauzer. And we're just gonna go through a couple of the things that uh, his owner and myself had a conversation about. Hades has been here previously for one of my programs. We uh, set the foundation for him and really got his obedience rolling. We definitely uh, incorporated, he was, about, uh, he was about one when he was here. He's a two and a half now, so he's back for sort of like a brush up. Um, love this, lo love this dude's owner. Just one of those like ideal clients, man. Uh, kept up with the work and you know, as I always say, like I could always tell if people keep up with the work because dude comes back and you know, he's asking his dogs to do things and his dog to do things and he's actually doing them. And that always really kind of makes me happy and it makes me proud because it's, it solidifies, you know, what, what us as dog trainers are constantly saying and that, Hey man, how far you guys go from here is completely up to you. So it's not like he came back unhappy. He just wants to continue to sharpen up a couple of things even more, namely uh, impulse control. Impulse control is super important in the relationship, and it's also su super important for the dog uh, particularly because it uh, provides an opportunity for the dog to have the ability to, to balance out a little bit. Because without the luxury of impulse control, you have a dog that's just a psycho all the time, doesn't really know how to turn off, doesn't know how to shut off, and uh, that's extremely inconvenient for the handler, um, especially when you go out into the real world situations where we need you to just do nothing for a minute. So if we don't ever practice doing nothing, it's, it's gonna be super hard to get the dog to do nothing when you need them to do it. And so that's a little bit of what we're gonna be talking about uh, throughout the course of this video. But first, listen guys, I see the analytics and I see how many people are watching my videos and a lot of people aren't subscribing and it's not going to keep me from producing content. I'm going to keep producing content. All I ask, because I put a lot of work and a lot of time into making these videos for you guys, all I ask is that you take the two seconds to subscribe to the channel and leave me a thumbs up if you learned something. If you're not learning anything from these videos, that's fine. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to like, none of that. But it's like the candy bowl at the front of the, uh, you know, on Halloween. It's the honor system. It's a gentleman's handshake. You learn something, you subscribe, right? You go to the candy, your parents tell you, hey, Johnny, take one, but you take the whole thing. That's like watching my videos and not subscribing. Do the right thing, subscribe to the channel, and take one piece of candy. Anyway, let's get into the video. This is a giant schnauzer with an extremely high drive for play. Now typically, if a dog doesn't have high drive for play, I'll be using food to do stuff like this. But today, no food. I'm gonna feed him after we're done doing all this psycho shit that he absolutely loves to do. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take something that he really loves to do, and we're gonna utilize it as motivation, and we're gonna ask him to do things, and in return, we're going to give him the thing that he really loves to do. So I'm gonna call him over here, Hades, here. Good. Oh, get your bird. Watch out, fool. Leave it. And I'm just going to show you like how jacked up he gets about this. He absolutely loves it. Sit. Down. Going to make him wait just a couple of seconds. Yes. Going to reward him. So that's typically not asking much of him. Um, our first rep, typically my first rep, it isn't going to be making him stay for, for very long because if I'm going to take you guys through the process, this is how I do it. Now, obviously, like this is a dog that's already advanced. If you, do, if you don't even have the ability to get your dog to perform a down, you probably need to go back and address some things before you could even consider thinking about being where we're at with, with Hades. Make sure my mic's on. It sure is. Hades here. Good boy. Out. Out it. Good. Sit. Down. So this time I'm going to um, turn away from him. And we're going to wait a little bit longer to reward him. Down. We're going to reinforce that down because, of course, we haven't given him the, t the terminal marker of you've done your job. Now go get paid. I'm going to challenge him by trying to walk around him. And I'm also keeping my 
peripheral on him. Because if he breaks the command, I want to try to immediately reinforce it. Yes! And he did a good job, so that's what we're going to give him there. Um, so you guys see the, so like the, the progression. And the thing that comes to my mind right now is people really expect, typically they expect a lot more from the dog without have gone through the steps that are required to get to the point of like where you want them to be. Frustration sets in. And look, all I could say is this, if you're getting frustrated because your dog's not doing it, there's only one thing to look at. You haven't done enough work yet, or you just haven't painted a clear enough picture of what it is that you want from them. So I don't really think this video needs to be very much longer. I'm gonna cut the video and I'm gonna go to work with him. This is what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna gradually have him wait longer, longer, longer. Set the foundation for more of an expectation of impulse control out of him. And then we're gonna go out into the world and we're gonna practice there. Maybe not today. Yes, but soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, Captain Hades. And uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, leave them in the comment section below. It helps me out a lot. If you're not gonna subscribe, at least it helps me if you like the video. Because I'm gonna make a name for myself on YouTube. The social media platforms all vary and they're all different in their own right. It seems to me like certain people use Instagram, certain people use Facebook, certain people use Snapchat, certain people use TikTok, and certain people use YouTube. And I've successfully built all platforms except for this one. And it doesn't matter to me if I'm getting no views right now. I'm going to keep posting the videos and I'm going to keep trying to help people become better dog owners, more informed. Because what I'm talking about right now is the same shit that I charge people thousands of dollars to teach them. And I'm giving it all to you guys. So anyway, appreciate you. Peace.